I really, really hope this works. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dumb ways to die. <laughs> What's going on guys? Sorry I'm squinting. It's a little bright out today, but today I'm here with my E90 M3. It was my basically, I don't want to say childhood dream car. I never had picked a dream car, but this is what I wanted for a long time. It's right here. I have it. I enjoyed it. I've had it for the past year or two, but today's my last day with it. I am selling it to a person who loves and appreciates the car just as I do and did on the first day that I bought it. Here's a last look at it. I bought, when I bought it, it was on bags. It had a hard life before I got it, but I put it back to where its former glo put it back to its former glory and made it basically my dream car. I was never really set on the blue. I love it, but honestly, I really like white ones more, but the blue is an amazing color. I don't regret it at all. It was a slick top car. There's no sunroof. It was a pretty rare combo. It's this Interlagos blue, which they made not too many of with no sunroof. And it is a six speed manual, which goes right about here. It's a pretty cool car. I'll give you guys a little walk around. As I don't know if you guys saw it. It does have R1 concepts. Big brake kit on it. It, front, it was eight piston fronts, six piston rear. It does, or it did have a CSL carbon voice liner trunk on it in that area. I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like before, but the new owner chose to go with the stock trunk. Carbon rear diffuser, it's the OEM comp wheels. I love those wheels. Every BMW I own will basically have those wheels or something similar to it. Front, got a GT3 V4 lip, something like that, a Trimpom. It's like the big race car lip, but not as big. It's a little shorter since I did daily drive this car for a bit. Other than that, I have no idea. I have a lot of amazing memories from this car. I met a lot of cool people from owning it. As times go on, you gotta change some stuff. And this is one car that I do regret selling right now, but I know I'll have something similar to it, if not better in the future. I will say this, this is not my last M car. I will be getting another M car. Or maybe there was one part of this trade dealer selling deal that I'm doing right now. Here's a little cry, sad moment for me owning this car. All the fun I've had it. We went to Laguna Seca in it. I roasted the tires off to a point that they're both flat and shooting flames off the back. I've done many, many, many illegal things on not public roads that you'll see. <laughs> it's a really fun car. It came with palladium interior. If you guys don't know, it's a really off-grade color. I did find, I didn't find it. Spencer Burke actually posted on Instagram and I said I had to have it. It was the cloth seats that are also very, very rare. As you see, yeah, I'll take some better camera angles, but the cloth insert seats, called speed cloth, really rare interior for these cars. I'm gonna keep babbling on because I'm trying to procrastinate, not going getting getting rid of this thing because I don't know, it's a cool car. Really like the car. Sorry about the squinting thing. I'd wear sunglasses, but I hate when people wear sunglasses. Well, I just won't look at you guys. We did the side marker delete up front. Where's my finger? There. Deleted those side markers. Sort of the Euro look with no side markers. That's why the thing looks so damn cool. This is my final goodbye. It's a little sad, but I'll get some pictures around and videos so I can show my kids that I had a cool car. Not to say the car I'm getting is not cool. It's definitely pretty damn cool, but I just never saw myself getting the car that I'm getting now and going to pick up, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. We can either convert the new car to a drift car, track car, sell it, trade it. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing with the new car, but I guess you guys will find out in the next videos. Guys, we are back in the same spot again in the same day with the same super bright sun. Where are we? Oh, it's being a cloud. We're good. I'll probably still be squinting now. We are back with my new toy. Um, I did say we are going to get a new car, and it is right there. Um, it does look sick. I'm not completely sold on if I like the E46 chassis yet. I will drive it for a couple days and see what I want to do with it. I might turn into a track car, I might turn into a drift car, I might turn into a different car, I might turn into no car, and just a stack of papers. 
I don't know what I'm doing with it. I need drive it, experience it, see what everyone is a fanboy about these cars and why they're amazing. But I kind of took a step backwards because everyone goes from this car to an E90 or E92 or an F80 or a G80 or whatever newer everyone goes up. I kind of went backwards. It is a fun car. It is peppy. It is tuned. It is cat. I don't know if I can say catless on camera since it's a California car. So let's just say it has no car fields in it. It's got pretty cool wheels, headlights are done, it's already got the big three done, which is rod bearings, Thanos, and the rear subframe, not rear subframe, the rear body has been reinforced for the subframe because the subframes on these cars rip them out. No, sorry. The subframes rip the body or the bolts out of the car, so you reinforce the body so the subframe doesn't pull the metal. Yes, it's done. A little quick walk around the car. Black, it's not any black, it is carbon black. It is a fancy black that is parkour. Sun, it turns a little bit blue. Um, it's got roof racks, Pedro Molly already called bib on one of the bike racks for his E90. We take that off again. Black on black, got sunroof, manual. It's actually got the same RTD shifter as my other car did. The license plate is kind of cool. I don't know if this, this is probably backwards, you can't read it. says E46. It's an E46 M3. I miss my old CSL trunk. So I have a buddy, if I do keep it, will, he will trade me his carbon humpy humpy trunk and I can put it on there because that kind of looks just like a 328 with roof racks. Okay, it's got little side spats there that you'll see in the cin cinematography picture video things. It's got another one there, it's got one there. Previous owner already did brakes and brake pad upgrades, so we're good there. He did all the mechanical maintenance stuff, so we're good there. It's got a cool shifter. Interior can definitely use some help. You'll see in the pictures, it's got a little poopy patch panel because someone blew too many forts through the seat and ripped it up. Uh, um, the paint is not amazing condition. Probably maybe be buffed and got better, but to be honest, if I keep it, I might just have Fedra wrap it. I'll either do blue or purple or something. So as of now, I'll just drive it, enjoy it, beat on it, drive it like I stole it. See if I actually like the chassis and like the car, because it is on, oh, it's also on ISC coilovers. No shame to anyone who likes ISC, but they are stiff as shit, and I really hate how stiff this car is. It is really rough ride. So. We'll see what I do with it. I don't know what I'm doing with it. But all I know is E90's gone. This thing's here. I don't know how long it'll stay here or what it'll do, but I'll do something with it. We'll have fun. We'll do some nice little drifty, burnouty videos before I get rid of it at least. Damn, it actually looks really good right there. It's a good looking car. It doesn't take much to make these things look good. So I'll see if I make it look good, if I make it sideways, if I put it sideways in a pole or what we do with it because I keep seeing the same thing all over. growing on me. I know Brandon wants them too. So maybe for Brandon's birthday, I'll be like, here you go. Here's some cool wheels. Well, not here. I'll just trade them, but they are cool wheels. Where are the tires on these? Their size is 245, 40, 18 and 265, 40, 18. There's some meaty boys on there. Here's the car. Looks like car. It's 54, bro. That's a good looking car. Yeah. Let's do the same walk around again because I just realized I was in half zoom. I like half zoom, but this looks bossing. Oh, oh, that, that's a money shot right there. I'll take some pictures too. Man, I sure do like the freaking babble. Because there's nobody here but me in this car. Oh, yep. So I don't want to say I knew I was going to make the video about this car that I'm making right now, but after driving it for a few days, I don't really like the chassis. I mean, I like the chassis. The car looks amazing outside, it handles great. It, does everything great but just driving the car I don't like the interior it feels a little bit too dated for my taste I love the E90 chassis and I don't want to say I'll stick with E90 but I just wanted to try this before I really said I hated them um, it's an amazing looking car to be honest it dry it handles great this one's on coilovers it's already got the big three done to it but to be honest it's just not really my thing I, I like how it looks. I really like how it looks and I would love to keep the car, but I can use the money. I never planned on owning one. I owned one. I can say I had one. I can say I drove one. I can say I drifted it and did all the other fun stuff I did with it. I don't know. It's just not me. I'll probably post it for sale. I don't know if I'll do the whole breakdown thing as we do for the fix and flips, even though this kind of is a fix and flip. It's not really a fix and flip. It was a trade my car, get this car plus some cash and then see if I like this car. I wanted to keep it, but as I said, it's just not the car for me. Let's see if I post it, I'll 
see what I get for it. I mean, I'm not in it a ton, so I know I'll make something on it, but it's a cool car. I'm happy to say I owned an E46 M3, but. So I don't know if I'll show you guys in this video what the replacement for this M3 is, but you guys may or may not have already seen it in another video of us at the shop. So this is our basically final goodbye to the beloved E46. She wasn't here for long, but I had fun owning her. It just, I can't get over the interior. It's a really ugly interior. And it doesn't smell like crayons. It smells like black eyes. And that whole crayon smell is what makes a BMW a BMW. And this doesn't have it, so. Bye, 46. It was nice driving you for the few days I had you. I don't know if I ever gave you guys a walk around of this car. So this is an 03 E46. It's got the S54 inline six. No turbo, your spoolie boy, pro charge or anything cool on it. So that might be why I don't like it. S54. It's got ISC coilovers on it. Um, it did have the big three done, which the big three are the Vanos, it is the rod bearings, and then the rear subframes on these cars like to get ripped out with all the horse and torque power these things got. So the rear subframe, not subframe, the rear car has been reinforced for the subframe which bolts up like there on both sides. As I said, it's on IC coilovers, that's why it looks slammed. I really like the wheels, I'll see if I get to keep the wheels. But it's got not no sure exhaust. I'm not sure what kind of exhaust setup it has. It does have Megan Racing headers, Catless headers, and then some other exhaust stuff. And it's honestly the best sounding E46 that I've heard so far. It's carbon black. It's got a sunroof. Interior is not bad for the mileage it has, which is about 230,000 miles. It's got the manual seats. Could be reupholstered. RTD shifter. It's got the nav. As you guys can see here, that's where I'm at. If you guys want to come meet up. But RTD shifter, manual seats, which is really surprising is he brakes up, so brake lights on, but no check engine lights. There's no lights. It's one of the few BMWs that don't have any lights. Oh, another weird quirk, if you guys don't know about these things, that's not your window switch. This thing's basically a Jeep and all your window switches are in the middle, which is kind of weird. There she is, all of her glory, glory. I can't even say that right. It's got front lip, it's got little side skirt, got little rear spats. It's a good looking car. It's just, I don't like driving it. I don't want to keep buying cars that sit in my garage. I already have too many of those. So goodbye, E46. And another thing, it's an M3. Doesn't have the M mirrors, which is kind of funny. But anyway, talk to you guys later. Really can't believe what I'm looking at right now. How we started about maybe a week ago with an E90 M3. So what I'm looking at now, I left my lights on. Give me one sec. All I can say is there's a high probability that we might get in trouble with this car. I'm not saying speed, it could be speeding tickets, could be doing reckless stuff, but the key thing that I'll definitely, maybe, hopefully not get pulled over on is, oh, I don't even know if I can say it. It's like a costume party. I'm just wearing a costume that's not acceptable to wear. And once you guys see what I bought, you'll understand exactly why. It's very similar to an M3. It is a four door, it's a V8, it's manual, it slides, makes cool noises. <laughs> but yeah, let me introduce you to my new Police Interceptor Crown Vic. <laughs> yeah, now you see why we might get in trouble with this. Just look at it. I literally have drove this thing from home to school right now and I created a traffic jam in the middle of the highway because I was going 65. I don't want to see if anyone passed me and nobody passed me. Every time someone does pass me, they stare into my windows to see if I'm an actual cop and you can't see because it's freaking limo tint. I don't like the wheels. I will get the black steelies with the chrome center caps like the cop car wheels. I love the ramp bar. I have full intention on using this on anything. Like Craig, you better watch out because Shake and Bake V2 is coming with this. So here we have our 2008 Crown Vic. And what I didn't know when I bought this car is 08s actually come E85 ready. So if we do anything stupid with it, we got E85, it's already set up for E85. I gotta make some of these lights work because they don't work. Like the turn signal light thing doesn't work. These do work and they are bright and they are really fun at finding friends. It's got a light bar down there. It's got the Ram bar that works. All storm troopered out. Again, I wanna change those wheels. Lights are cool, everything's freaking cool. So this originally was an Oreo car, as they call it. It is an actual police interceptor. So if you open the doors, you can see it's painted black like cop car. So originally it was a cop car, 
they took everything out private security bought it painted the whole car white and then the individual that i bought well i didn't buy it i bought it from a friend who bought it from a friend who bought it from that guy had this car and did all this stuff to it you may be wondering why the fender and the front bumper is cut like that this thing used to be lifted on like 33 all terrains i don't know if i'll do that again but could be a possibility in the future if you guys want me to do that i'll definitely lift it and put it on some nice all terrains we go inside cop car stuff it's got power seats they did all the cool stuff but the real reason i got this thing is that yes it has got a five-speed manual conversion in it and a freaking sick radio with subs and i'll show you the sub that's pretty cool um it is california carb legal tuned so it does have some snap crackles and pops it has all this stuff i don't want to hit it now maybe i'll do it real quick just for a little teaser so yes that works oh. it's got a nice pioneer sub amp and enough boot area to put whatever you want in there actually i hope i really really hope this works uh-oh uh-oh Wow, that was almost a really bad idea. So it does identify as a Prius. It does do amazing burnouts. It's one wheel burnouts. We probably will switch the diff in there and make double burnies. This is my new American M3. So look forward to me pulling every single person in San Diego County that I know over with this thing. Cause I ordered some significantly specially colored lights for there. So I can go like, this is the replacement to the M3. Some of you guys may say we went downhill. Some may say we went uphill. Some say, might say I'm retarded. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Some might say I'm stupid. Here she is. My freaking Stormtrooper Crown Vic. Police in the scepter. Shots of the interior, got power seats, forward, back, up, down, left, right, lumbar. It's got some weird ass pedals I might need to fix because like throttle's really the throttle is really far, the brake's really high, the clutch is really low, and it's really stiff and it really sucks to drive. We got our bumping knob. Light bar switch, traction control, this doesn't even work, so it's on party mode all the time. I'd like to build a center console because I currently have no cup holders, I think. Shifter, PA, siren, mic bumper. Sitting in the back of the cop car. This is it. This is in all her glory. And to think that I've had 10 times more fun in this thing than my M3. And the price of this compared to the price of the M3 that I sold, my blue one, is a whole zero less. So you guys can do the math and use your imagination how much my M3 was and how much this is. But basically, the price of the M3, take off a whole zero and you have this. And it's as much fun, if not more fun than the M3. So here's the breakdown of how we ended up here for my E90 M3, which is literally less than a week, which is crazy to think about how much you can do in a week when you actually, I don't know how to say I put my mind to it. Everything just rolled the right way. And I ended up with this, honestly, pretty damn happy with this. I don't really miss my M3 that much anymore after driving this thing. M3, we sold it for 21,000 plus a car car was the E46 M3, which you guys already saw, the walk around and everything. So it'd be 21 grand plus car, sold to a friend. I sold the car for 13.5. So 21 plus 13.5 equals total what I got for the M3, which I believe is 34.5, which is fairly good money for that car. This thing, I bought it from Zach, who bought it from Jared, who bought it from the actual owner. Jared got it, Jared taxed Zach, and then Zach taxed me. And I ended up doing a trade deal to getting this from Zach. So I'm selling him, trading him a jet ski and giving him cash on top. So this car basically cost me about, I'll say about 4,500 bucks. But that is a killer steal for a Crown Vic that's manual swapped. Because you're not going to find too many more of these. So I might actually register this one and keep it for a little bit and make some funny videos. And well, you know, maybe we'll take some inspiration from Craig and lift it and put it on 33s and take it off-roading. I think this thing's got a little bit more power than his town car, but... We'll see. See you guys in the next video. I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of like this thing, but I don't know if that's racist Hitler thing. Bye.